the development of large civil aircraft in China can be described as both broad and spectacular. Following the successful maiden commercial flight of the C919, the long dormant CR929 project, initiated in 2016 through Sino Russian collaboration, is now showing signs of life. The CR929, a long-range wide-body aircraft with a range of 12,000 kilometers, once completed, will add a significant asset to China's aviation capabilities. However, at a critical juncture, Russia has decided to withdraw. What does this mean for China? Why has Russia chosen to exit? What are the major challenges currently facing the CR929 project? Can China still achieve success in this venture? Today, we will delve into these questions and the underlying reasons. Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section. Let's begin our exploration. The CR929 project, initiated in 2016 by the China-Russia Commercial Aircraft International Corporation, represents a joint venture with the initials C and R denoting the respective countries, and 9 symbolizing profound and enduring cooperation while 2 signifies the collaboration of enterprises from both nations. According to the development plan, the CR929 is expected to achieve its maiden flight in around 7 years, with deliveries completed within the next 10 years. At that point, China will possess a long-range wide-body aircraft with a range of 12,000 kilometers and a capacity of 280 seats. Hence, this project holds paramount importance for China, however, while the C919, another large aircraft, has already completed its first commercial flight globally, the CR929 has remained relatively quiet, with occasional rumors of a China-Russia breakup surfacing. As we entered August, the CR929 project finally saw new developments. Yuri Slyuser, the general director of the United Aircraft Corporation of Russia, announced a change in their role in the project, with all technical leaders ceasing collaboration due to severe Western sanctions on Russia amid the Russia-Ukraine conflict. With Russia's withdrawal, the CR-929 will transform into the C-929, and the project will now be independently developed by Chinese enterprises. In fact, signs of the China-Russia breakup have been evident. For example, the large aircraft model showcased by the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China at the previous Paris Air Show no longer featured the logo of the United Aircraft Corporation of Russia. Of course, after announcing the withdrawal, the Russian side added that although they are no longer directly involved in the research and development, they can still contribute as suppliers to help realize the project. Beforehand, our program has extensively covered China's development of commercial large aircraft. The C919, China's first large civil aircraft with independent intellectual property rights, has not only obtained certifications but also secured numerous purchase agreements. This news signifies China's ownership of a large aircraft. The CR929, considered the next generation aircraft following the C919, is poised to become the C929. If this transformation occurs, it will truly represent another major project with independent intellectual property rights for China. Although this entails high research and development challenges and substantial investment, the potential for growth has attracted numerous enterprises. They are actively involved in the research and development of the fuselage panel assembly production line for the C-929 wide-body aircraft during the independent development phase. The most significant challenge faced by Chinese enterprises is the engine. Whether for civil or combat aircraft, the engine is always the heart of the aircraft, directly influencing its performance. With a target range of 12,000 km for the CR-929, a powerful engine is indispensable. China currently faces two choices, direct overseas purchase, examples include the Boeing 787, which uses the GX 1B high bypass ratio turbofan engine, considered the world's most powerful aviation engine. China's C919 uses an engine from the CFM International Joint Venture, General Electric from the US and Safran from France, representing the latest technology from General Electric and is notably fuel-efficient, independent development. China is currently dedicated to developing the CJ-1000A, 
considered a domestically produced engine specifically for large aircraft. CJ-1000A's development is reportedly progressing smoothly, and it might obtain type certification as early as next year. If successful, this engine could potentially equip the CR-929, marking a significant breakthrough for China in overcoming the project's major hurdle, however, concerns linger. The initial collaboration with Russia was undoubtedly for a reason. Russia, inheriting the Soviet Aviation Industries Foundation, demonstrated technical advantages in the field of aviation engines, evident in aircraft like the Tu-160 and an 124. Collaborating with Russia on the CR-929 could significantly alleviate the research and development pressure. As a traditional industrial power in aviation manufacturing, the Soviet Union produced the Tu-154 passenger aircraft that could carry over 160 people back in the 1960s. In the wide-body aircraft development field, China has zero experience. With Russia's assistance, the technical risks can be minimized due to the high regard for the CR-929 project, China holds lofty expectations, aspiring to elevate the project to world-class standards directly. From the Russian perspective, the collaboration aims to sell their equipment internationally. However, the eruption of the Russia-Ukraine conflict has intensified Western pressure on Russia's finance and technology, leading to the stagnation of many major Russian projects. In the current circumstances, it is challenging for Russia to sustain the CR-929 project. So, what does Russia's withdrawal mean for China? At first glance, China may face increased technological and financial risks, having to bear the burdens alone. However, Russia's departure is not entirely complete. Although not directly involved in research and development, Russia will still collaborate with China as a major supplier. After all, Russia possesses advantages in aviation materials, such as competitively priced, high-quality advanced aluminum alloys. Moreover, certain compromises made by China in technology during the Sino-Russian cooperation will disappear, potentially resulting in even stronger performance for future large aircraft developed solely by China, for instance, the application of ultra-high-strength carbon fiber-reinforced materials. This material is considered the most promising, offering high strength and corrosion resistance. Carbon fiber materials can be categorized into three types. The discontinuation of adhesive-based carbon fiber materials years ago left asphalt-based and polyacrylonitrile-based carbon fiber materials dominated by the U.S. and Japan in the market. In recent years, the U.S. and Japan jointly imposed strict controls on imported carbon fiber materials from China, hindering China's development in this field under immense pressure. China has continuously strengthened its research and production of ultra-high-strength carbon fiber-reinforced materials since the early 1990s. Belonging to the polyacrylonitrile-based carbon fiber material category. This material is used in various aircraft like the F-16 and A-330. China has long since broken free from constraints, producing composite materials with superior overall mechanical properties compared to the U.S. If these domestically produced materials pass testing for use in the CR-929, the aircraft's performance may see significant enhancement. For China, large aircraft's importance is no less than that of Dongfeng missiles, nuclear weapons, and aircraft carriers. Apart from technical challenges, China also needs to confront market pressures. Before the emergence of the C-919, Western countries repeatedly imposed pressure, not only on components but also delaying the issuance of airworthiness certificates. Despite the challenges, the C-919 withstood the pressure, successfully reaching new heights. The day CR-929 debuts may not be too distant, most importantly, from a market perspective, China's potential is vast. Data indicates that over 40,000 civil aircraft deliveries are expected in the next 20 years, with China accounting for approximately a quarter of the total, valued at $13.9 trillion. Therefore, despite being newcomers like the C-919 and CR-929, their future prospects are quite expansive. Do you have any insights or stories about the development of China's large aircraft? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments.